Welcome to the University of Alabama at Birmingham School of Medicine's I2B2 video series. This video will provide an introduction to the ontologies, vocabularies, and terminologies in I2B2. UAB's I2B2 has a growing set of ontology folders under the Navigate Terms tab. The ontology folders describe the organized terms within certain categories. For instance, the categories of terms for diagnosis can be described using ICD-9, ICD-10, or SNOMED codes. Many of these folders, such as CPT procedures, diagnosis, DRGs, lab tests, medications, are built around one or more coding schemes. Medication uses Cerner multi-medication codes. Diagnoses include ICD-10, ICD-9, and SNOMED codes. Procedures are included in CPT, ICD-10, PCS, and ICD-9 codes, and lab tests use LOINC codes. These coding schemes for ontologies usually have a built-in hierarchical structure, so you'll see folders inside other folders in the I2B2 ontology. Other folders do not have a hierarchy, such as immunizations or microbiology tests. There are relatively few distinct concepts in these folders, so it's easier to simply list them in the top folder. Also, some folders have an ontology developed here at UAB. The blood pressure readings ontology in the vital signs folder is an example. If you want to build a query using all the codes in a folder, try dragging the folder into the Query Tool panel. For example, in the Diagnosis Ontology, you can drag the Acute Appendicitis with Generalized Peritonitis folder to a Query Tool panel. You can double-click the folder in the Query panel, and it will expand and show you all the codes in that folder. You'll notice that, for diagnoses in particular, there are many coding schemes inside the ICD-10 folder structure. Here we see that both ICD-9 and SNOMED codes are present. This means that when you run a query with that folder, you'll get a patient count for all the diagnosis codes in that folder, ICD-10, ICD-9, and SNOMED codes. UAB uses all three coding schemes so that by having a combined ontology, I2B2 can give you the best and most accurate answer possible. Some folders cannot be dragged into the Query Tool panel because they represent too large a set of facts. For example, in Patient Details, the top-level folder, State, County, City, Zip, cannot be dragged since it includes all the zip codes in the entire I2B2 database. The icon for folders that cannot be dragged into queries and the icon for draggable concepts have a subtle difference in appearance. The ones that cannot be dragged almost look like they're sitting in a tray. You don't always have to use the ontology. If you know at least part of the name of a concept, you don't need to use the ontology to find it. Instead, you can use the Find feature to search the ontology. Here we find the same acute appendicitis with generalized peritonitis folder that we used previously. In this case, we limited the search to diagnosis codes only to speed up the search. If you don't limit the search to a specific folder of codes, the search can take quite a long time and or return too many results. In a search like this one, both folders and individual codes are returned. If you hover your mouse over any of the search results, a tooltip will pop up to show you where in the ontology the concept was found. These tooltips can be very useful in helping you find the exact concept you want to use in your queries. This concludes the introduction to the ontologies, vocabularies, and terminologies in I2B2. Thank you for reviewing and using this resource, and look for additional help videos at the web address on the screen.